After 10 years, a ceiling fan can wear out and may need replacing. This video will show you how to remove both a flush mounted and down rod ceiling fan. A down rod mounted ceiling fan hangs away from the ceiling at the end of a metal down rod. A flush mounted ceiling fan sits flush with the ceiling. Here's what you'll need. First, turn off power at the circuit breaker. Then, test the light switch to make sure the power is off. If your fan has a light kit, remove the globes or cover and light bulbs. To remove the blades, remove the screws that attach the fan blade brackets to the fan housing. Repeat for remaining blades. If you are removing a down rod fan, use a screwdriver to remove the fan's canopy. Next, locate the wires that connect the fan to the ceiling wires. Remove the wire nuts and attach wires. Then, recover the ceiling wires with wire nuts or black electrical tape. While supporting the fan, slide the ball at the end of the down rod out of the mounting bracket and then lower to the ground. To remove a flush mount fan, access the wires by removing the canopy and support the fan on a safe surface while you disconnect the fan wires from the ceiling wires. Remove the fan body from the hinge on the mounting bracket and lower to the ground. Finally, use a screwdriver to remove screws and attach the mounting bracket. Reattach the screws to the ceiling box in case you need them later. Good luck and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.